So hi everyone, I'm Dr. Anita. I'm a consultant microbiologist. Moving on to the clinical manifestations. So acute bacterial conjunctivitis is usually bilateral. The infection first acquires in one night, that is one to two days prior and then it spreads to the, the second eye. Okay, so usually the presentation is bilateral. But the infection first starts in one eye and then spreads to the adjacent eye. Symptoms, so this is characterized by mucopurulent discharge from the eyes and the eye discomfort and uh, foreign body sensation uh, inside the eye and redness of uh, sudden onset. This is mainly due to the engorgement of the blood vessels and mild intolerance to light that is mild photophobia and uh, sticking together of lid margins with discharge. It especially occurs during sleep okay and slight blurring of vision due to presence of mucus flakes in front of cornea. So these are the main symptoms in conjunctivitis. Signs on examination the following signs are noticed that is conjunctival congestion and matted the eyelashes and flakes of mucus discharge in eyes and swollen conjunctiva and eyelid and petechial hemorrhages particularly pneumococcus uh, pneumococcal conjunctivitis we can appreciate petechial hemorrhages in the conjunctiva okay and moving on to the lab diagnosis so uh, conjunctival uh, swabs are collected that is the swabs which are pre-moistened with the sterile saline or uh, uh, used to, to take samples from both the conjunctiva and uh, the collected conjunctival swabs are sent to the laboratory within two hours and uh, uh, following which gram stain and culture are processed. So gram stain is mainly done to differentiate whether the causative agent is gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria and then uh, the culture is usually done on blood agar, chocolate agar and mekan ki agar uh, to um, find out the for further identification of the etiological agent. Then moving on to the treatment, it is uh, topical gentamicin or tobramycin or quinolone such as ciprofloxacin, moxifloxacin or uh, given and irrigation of conjunctival sac with sterile warm saline or twice a day. So, it can be given, so uh, the conjunctival sac irrigation can be done to remove the deleterious uh, material within the eyes and no bandage should be applied, no steroid should be given, okay. And prevention, so we have to undergo certain preventive measures to reduce the risk of transmission to the close contacts, okay. So, the first and foremost is frequent hand washing, avoid eye rubbing, and avoid sharing towels and handkerchiefs and the pillows with others. And also disinfection of certain ophthalmic instruments such as tonometer should be done to prevent the risk of transmission of infection to the patients. Mm -hmm.